Miners chose to believe when everything around them said give up. You know, belief, faith, it's, a, it's an ephemeral thing. Uh, you either have it or you don't. Uh, some people, you know, like to espouse faith, but uh, the truth of the matter is, you know, when the rubber hits the road, so to speak, uh, uh, you're tested. And, and I think that's the wonderful thing about faith. Uh, untested faith might not be faith. You know, it, it, it might be noise. And uh, uh, these men were tested. And they found that strength within themselves. They found the strength of their own characters to persevere and to not give up. Uh, but it wasn't just them. It was, it was their families. Uh, and you can say it's a cultural thing, you know. Uh, it, it's part of, of being Latino, being Chilean. Uh, uh, it could be part of their upbringing. It certainly was uh, ingrained within them. But, but once again, you know, uh, here they are. They, they, they were truly dealt a life and death situation, and, and they never gave up. You play the character of Don Luco, and you met him. What did you feel you had to capture, having spent time with him? What I really feel like I had to capture, and, and sometimes it was a difficult thing because uh, in, in the script, you know, Don Lucho is tasked with, with having the pessimism, with having the doubt, because he's the smartest guy in the mine. He knows the realities. He knows what they're up against. So uh, I, I, I had to show that. I had to show that desperation without ever allowing him to lose his dignity. Uh, I, owe, I owed it to that man. Uh, I met him, and, and he just has this quiet reserve. He's got this strength of character, and he is, he's not as, as uh, you know, overt as Mario Sepulveda. Uh, he was the boss, but you know, he, he's not this, this cheerleader, and, and uh, that's just not who he was. And so I, I, I had to try to capture his kind of strength, his brand of strength, uh, uh, and, and uh, hope that at the end of the day, you know, he could be proud of what I brought. Wonderful film. When did you know you wanted to be a part of it? I knew that I wanted to be a part of this film as soon as I heard they were going to make the movie. <laughs> you know, really? just, I mean, there, there are certain roles where you just go, you know what, I fit. I, I know I, I'm, I, I fit in that particular, you know, film. Uh, you know, if, if they were making a movie about, you know, Swiss Alpine skiers, I'd go, no, I'm probably not right for that. <laughs> but, you know, a movie about the Chilean miners, I went, me? Why not me? You know? And, and I did. I campaigned and I lobbied and uh, uh, my, my uh, agent kept calling and thank goodness Patricia Riggins saw me and she saw it my way. She said yes. Beautiful. Last question for you. This story captured the world's attention in 2010. What do you recall about it before you actually came to playing the role? I was fascinated by this story just like everybody else. Uh, I didn't spend as much time glued to the screen because I'm pretty sure I was working at the time. But fascinated by by the process and the length and, and sort of overwhelmed, not even able to grasp entirely, you know, what these men were going through. I remember one of the things that I found most uh, uh, amazing was that they had gotten, you know, a camera down below and mm -hmm. were able to get a tour of, of, of how the men were living and, and that was that was amazing. That would not have been possible, you know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. And, and uh, uh, it, it turned it into reality TV, it turned it into this, this compelling unfolding drama. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you.